with one of my clients. Listen, this guy changed my life. I started out as like a weak, scared, fragile, and now I... Now I'm going around super confident. You know, I don't have any pimples. Not that that's really sort of the thing. But anyway, yeah, it's great. That's right. I'm available, and I'm going to tell you what happens with... I, but dude, I, get the fuck out of here. I'm available to... to so stop it and take a look at me uh, and I'll see you at my customer line. So this is what it's like to have legs. Valued customer. Ah, pleasure doing business with you. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty. And I'm keeping it. So buy something else. Congrats on your purchase, what a fucking cookie. Oh man, I could do this all day! Hello there, human fan, and welcome to Human TV. I'm your horrifying host, Humandor, the human. What's that? Uh-huh. You don't know what humans are? Why, they're the most recently discovered new alien species. They're very weird little creatures. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Nah, I'm enough firepower by myself. I mean, you could even ditch the other guns and just use me and we would still win. Trust me, we need this. Plug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. Another living Gatlion? Really? That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. What? You're asking us to find him? How? We do it the old-fashioned way. And ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Yes, that's that good. But we'll pick up your slack. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Oh, sure. Give us detective mode now. This would have been useful earlier. All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? So you're useless. Go figure. Thanks a lot, Gene. Dispatch 146. We have a 1052 double VOA call from Dickinson Farm on the 
You want to use that scanner, maybe? Hey, we're asking you some questions. Do you know Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. Digo, they're not. That's a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? I'd rather not, but fine. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not gonna let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Oh shit, so the little freak can play. Come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. All right, Blordo. We need the hookup on Dr. Giblets. Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What? Why? You got a problem with us asking for Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. <laughs> That's right, yeah, let's come back when we know a little more and see if we can push this guy over the edge. I'm allowed! That's fine. So don't elect Clug Nugman, he's just trying to make me stop having sex. It's personal for him. Clug, Clug walked in on me and his daughter having really beautiful and energetic sex. More energetic than you'd expect from someone my age. Why are all these dorks here? No, no, no. Me. Ah, ah. He went on like that for a while. You know, it makes me so happy every time oh, you walk by. Oh, look at I this. Tell you. Suddenly oh, everybody oh, wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new, too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. They're all sheeple, you know. A bunch of mindless fanboys and drug addicts. But hey, what's the difference, am I right? Come on, I'm doing really great social commentary over here. Open the gates. Daddy needs his new hyper... You want to go to the Hyperbarn Midnight Lunch too? So you're a sheeple, just like them. Hey, pal, whatever floats your boat. I'm sure the crowd will die down soon, too. And you see it this way. This is the front... This is the angle you saw initially. This is, uh, the thing. This is how I would typically get fucked. And I just want somebody to fuck me. Open the gates! Danny needs his new hyper bomb! Yeah! You there! Yeah, you slick! Tell us what you know about Dr. Giblets. Slick? What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. How you doing? Like, we 
of your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Would you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I Just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. All right, sure, but you better be fast. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike. Uh, where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Oh, chill out. We barely looked away. <laughs> my mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You lose my bike and then you walk away. Fuck you. What's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. I was playing snoker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Well, sure. Yeah, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me. So, uh, how about no? Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Look, I said I don't know nothing about Dr. Giblet, so leave me alone! Unless you want to buy something, that's different. You can still buy stuff from me, that's totally fine. Ah, oh, that piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! Ah, look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! See? Was that so fucking hard? You know, we had to talk to a bunch of losers just to get you to open up. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! The turtle fucker has just left the building. Um, it looks like he's getting killed. And that's actually fantastic news because uh, Jake is part of the religion.
Hey, there's my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Yeah, yeah, have a good day. Finally using me again! I'm not mad or anything. I just really enjoy spending time with you, and I missed it a lot, and I was freaking out about it. The night was getting longer by the minute. Soon, oh, yeah, we'll get hey, the new hey, high hey. on life uh, I get it. Don't want to talk to me. I'm a broken leg guy. Nobody wants oh, to talk to me. Oh, nobody knows. Could be crazy. When you live in the darkness like me, you get a whole lot of energy. It's, it's the just the life of a detective And they're killing again. Get up, Stooping. You got me. So you gotta kill guys.
I'm starting to think you forgot about me, bounty hunter. Really nice to see you again, partner. You be hiding from me? Like the property values going up around here. High on life has got to be close.
place above it all! Fucking go, we made it to high on life. they open this new high on life store i've been counting down the days hey don't worry detectives can always cut lines uh, the you, rules do not apply to the law hyperbong. you don't understand this isn't like a consumer loyalty thing it's more like uh, i'm addicted to drugs Local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Sudo, by the way. You know me. Hi, Sudo. I'm a detective now. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Well, that's a great idea. You're an even better detective than me. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Club Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program?
Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. Slow down there, Slick. You're saying you know Dr. Giblets? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is, and you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick. Uh, I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened, so uh, I've only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I have no clue. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your Hyperbong? Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Just when things started to look all rosy, two knucklehead lugs showed up to hassle us. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good vet, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. You get to meet a lot of cool, silly people when you're a detective. Sometimes they even do the same kind of voice as you. Everyone should be a detective. 
Please touch me again. I need it. A body. This was classic mystery stuff. Except it seemed very obvious this guy was trampled to death. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like, morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Detectives aren't perfect. Sometimes we steal property off a dead corpse. But we'll do whatever it takes to solve the case. Thank <laughs> you.
welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, hey, you guys were really funny earlier. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblets. He's been warping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? So? You gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug, or what? <laughs> oh, 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 well, okay, well now, well now I sorta, now I can.